what's up youtube it's your boy dion back again with another video i'm doing good i hope you're doing good from wherever you're watching from so as usual today we're just gonna be making an afro beat something uh down tempo like 112 and we're gonna be making an ashaka type beat so i have harmless uh loaded up here so i'm just gonna go for the liquid state preset in the key of c minor we're gonna pencil in some notes Yeah, I kind of feel that sounds good. I'm just going to control B. Yeah, I actually like that. So the next thing we're going to be adding is a e piano, an electric piano from Lounge Lizard. And I'm simply just going to follow that bass. And now I'm simply just going to follow the ghost notes of the previous sound. I'm going to try and figure out uh, the chords in the best way possible. So the E piano sounds like this. Yeah, but I kind of feel like this last chord is kind of wrong. Yeah, so I'm just actually going to amend that and then I'm going to go with something I like. So I'm going to mute the harmless and then I'm going to figure out the chords properly. I also don't like that. Let me see if I go down. I actually feel like this is kind of better, so I'm going to control B and copy it over. And then I'm going to press Alt R to randomize the velocities and then Alt X to lower the volume at the same time. Knock it up an octave with control up. So I'm pretty happy with that. So we're going to strum it with Alt S. Just to give it a more natural feel. So I'm going to repeat the chord here again. So I then added some more notes just to make it, just to make the e piano melody just a little bit groovier and a little bit more interesting than just being basic. Yeah, I kind of like that very much. So I'm going to go back to the harmless. So as you can see, it's actually clashing. So this F, we're going to take it to A sharp. Yeah, fire. I'm actually happy with that. Yeah, so the next thing we're going to add is purity. And I'm going to come into the fast synth. Actually, the slow. And then we're going to add the sonar preset. And we're simply just going to play one note for this. Yeah, and this is just for texture purposes. Next thing I'm going to add is a lead from contact in the factory selection. And it's simply going to play this. Yeah, vibey. So we're going to add some strings uh, from uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra. 
So I'm simply just going to pencil it something I like. Pretty vibe, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. So I did a little bit of mixing. Um, so most of things I just paint them and then I actually leveled them uh, to my liking. So it now sounds like this. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to add uh, the drums, we are going to start with the shaker loop. And then I'm actually going to add uh, some, some rims just for the main bounce. So I have these four rims and a snare. So I'm going to start with this one. And as you can see, this uh, first rim, I actually kind of delayed it. Uh, this is just to make the bounce a little bit more interesting, because usually it will be somewhere here. Yeah, which is typical, but I feel like delaying it a little bit just makes it a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to add the rest of the rims. So the snake is just going to layer the rest of the rims. So the next thing. So the next thing I actually added was the percussion uh, and actually a hi-hat. So the percussion are all uh, linked to one mixer track and let me just actually mute the hi-hat for now. So they sound like this. Yeah, it kind of sounds a little bit stupid right now all the rest of the uh, drums it actually sounds dope so for the effects uh, what i added was first an eq and then a chorus uh, and then a reverb and for the reverb um, the weight is pretty down and then another parametric eq just to shape it and this just makes the the percussion a little bit more interesting so with no effects it actually sounds like this And with the effects, yeah, and this just brings out uh, the percussion a little bit more. So with the rest of it, it sounds like this. And then I added a hi hat, and it simply plays this. And I played with the velocity, that's which is actually the key to getting this um, piano kind of vibe. Next is the kick, and I'm simply going to go with the four step. Right click and feel each four step. Now it sounds like this. Yeah, pretty vibe, you know. So the rest of the melody. Yeah, so I then came in with uh, a log drum and this is a preset I actually made. 
sounds like this yeah and it actually just follows the the chord progression actually so i added the chord progression in a sampler in an empty sampler and then i added the lock drum uh, pattern and it's simple so i'm just actually following the chords just to make it easier pretty vibe you know and I layered it with the E flute and the E flute uh, just plays uh, the lower octave more of the bassy the sub bass just to give the lock drum a little bit more power uh, and then I added this two snares the first snare uh, is the typical Lama piano snare and the second one is also typical Lama piano snare but I just lowered the volume so they actually blend with the first one they sound like this and the second snare just plays at some certain parts and then the first snare plays the most of the pattern so they sound like this Yeah, pretty vibe you know uh, and then i was pretty much happy with that i then actually made an easy arrangement and then the only thing i actually added was this perk loop sounds like this and i actually rooted it to the same mixer track as the percussion uh, yeah that's simply it so i added some transitions here like crashes and rises and rolls um this is just to keep the beat more interesting and the listener uh, interested to the beat. So that's pretty much it guys. So please leave a like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. Uh, we're still trying to hit 1k and if you'd like this FLP, you could actually use this as a, as a template. Just hit the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, peace out. See you in the next one. Enjoy.